Hey y'all, for those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. For Hello everyone. So I want to talk about the Gorilla Glue girl. And I hate to call her that, but her name is Tessica. But um, she went viral for putting Gorilla Glue in her hair to get her hair to slick down. So when I first saw the video, like, I didn't laugh like everybody else. Like, I was in absolute shock. And I felt her pain. And let me explain myself. So, you know, when it comes to black women's hair, it is definitely a culture filled with battles and complexity. Like, you know, we deal with the big chop, um, discrimination, what's good hair, what's bad hair, you know, bad dye jobs, you know, hate having your hair being short, um, the struggles of trying to get your hair to slick down, um, dealing with low por um, porosity, high porosity, what shampoo should you use? I mean, I can spend all day talking about the culture of the black woman's hair. So when I saw her trying to slick down her hair I was like girl I feel your pain because you know I have to explore different gels in order for me to get my thick natural hair to um slick down and I hate using the blow dryer so you know that's another issue so I was like this is a dumb choice and using super glue and I saw that she was like working out of desperation but I was like dang this is what you have to do to get your hair to slick down so um I felt her pain because I knew the struggle and I was shocked because I was like, wow, we have a black woman that's going to the extreme to get her hair to lay or be a certain way. Now, she came on the Internet and said, hey, you know, my hair has been like this for a month. And I was like, what? That is crazy. And so, you know, with her going viral, um, Gorilla Glue the company in a very shady way put out a video and said hey this is the proper way that Gorilla Glue is supposed to be used and then you know she had medical professionals that reached out to her or whatnot um the doctors actually like the show the doctors they reached out to her um there was a dermatologist that actually posted a video as well trying to give her help I feel absolutely awful for this person. She made the decision to use Gorilla Glue spray in her hair instead of hairspray because she was out thinking maybe it would last just a little bit longer and she'd still be able to wash it out. But Gorilla Glue spray is incredibly durable and doesn't wash out easily. So what would you do according to a dermatologist? The first thing that you can do is use acetone. Acetone can help to break the bonds of the glue. Acetone is safe to put on the skin. It can be irritating, it can be drying, but trying to break down those bonds. I would go to a professional hair salon and let them help you apply the acetone and work it through the hair. You probably still wanna see a dermatologist just in case you're getting any irritation on the scalp after all of these treatments. There's another product called Goo Gone. That one is not necessarily safe to use on the skin, but if the acetone doesn't work sufficiently, I would go ahead and give that a try. Try to keep it in the hair only and then see a dermatologist to take care of any irritation on the scalp. Okay, so now we're at the point where like people are looking for her updates, like they're following her on TikTok, trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. They're following her on Instagram. This woman is now verified. She has a GoFundMe, you know, celebrities are invested, like, you know, she's doing interviews as well. And I mean, this whole thing is really taking off. But the biggest question is... Is this all for clout, right? This is not something that I'm thinking about or a question that came across my mind. It's something that other people are starting to say now based off of her reactions of certain things. They say she's not, you know, taking help from certain professionals or whatever it may be. And, you know, it, it, it's like because she's verified now, it's just like, oh, she really wanted this for herself. But um, I really think that she made a sincere yet stupid mistake 
And yes, this whole thing has skyrocketed and taken off on the internet. You know how the internet goes. It's like a drop in a bucket becomes a full bucket at the end of the day um, when it comes to viral videos. But just imagine if you, if not already, went viral. How, how would you handle that knowing that you're capable of getting like opportunities and gigs and stuff like that if you're into that life like what would you do some people are not about going viral and you know being in the spotlight but some people take it and they run with it and they say you know what if they're gonna put me out there I'm gonna roll with it and I wonder if that's the vibe that she's on you feel me it's not every day that a black woman is putting super glue in her hair out of desperation but you do have your people that in this case with them doing stuff like this they're going to say you know what yeah ver verify my account now with this GoFundMe thing I don't know about that but you know with her you know getting all this, this attention like she's down with it you know alright guys so let me know do you guys think this is clout or just an honest mistake that just happened to go viral alright you guys take care Hello, but as y'all can see as y'all can see, the cotton kind of got stuck. But we're going to try to use this like this.